There is nothing more frustrating than great TV shows getting cancelled while other mediocre ones continue to get renewed year after year. Worse still are shows that end on an almighty cliffhanger that will never be resolved. Many ended with no planned next step in the series' continuation, but if you trawl the internet, you'll be able to find glimmers of information that tell us what would have happened next. I'm Rich from What Culture, and what happened next? These are 10 planned seasons of cancelled TV shows. Number 10. Journeyman. Full Season 1 and Beyond Journeyman was one of the biggest losses of the 2007 writers' strike. Investigative newspaper reporter Dan Vassar discovers that he's being thrown back and forth through time to correct the mistakes of the past. His supposedly dead fiancée Livia reveals that she too is travelling through time and there was a much greater purpose at play. Over the 13 episodes, it got better and better and became one of the highlights of the 2007-2008 season. And then, NBC cancelled it. According to series creator Kevin Falls, there was a much bigger plan for the rest of the season and beyond. The constant and disruptive time travelling would have put a strain on Dan and his wife Katie's relationship, but they would have survived it. As for Livia, revealed as having come from 1948, she would have died in the 20th episode. Dan would have then saved her in the following episode, and then in the finale, his actions would have changed time forever as he returned to his home to find his wife and son wiped from existence. Number 9. Doctor Who Series 27 once upon a time, the unthinkable happened. The BBC cancelled Doctor Who. Falling ratings and the assumption that the iconic show was now outdated meant that Who ended in 1989 after a massive 26 seasons. Had it continued, the Doctor's role as a demigod-esque character alongside the likes of Omega and Rassilon would have been revealed, as layers of mystery were added back into his character. Series 27 was due to feature a story set on historic Gallifrey and focused on its unknown family. Sophie Aldred's ace would have left after eight episodes, possibly to join the Time Lord Academy. The new companion was going to be something akin to a cat burglar positioned as an upper-class lady, similar to Planet of the Dead's Lady Christina D'Souza. With a supposed return of the Ice Warriors, it was also likely to have been the final series for Sylvester McCoy. Number 8. Alphas Season 3 Alphas could have been the next Heroes, a non-comic-based TV show about superheroes that brought something fresh to the franchise. While season one was arguably not as good as the Heroes debut, its second season took great leaps forward with the debut of Stanton Parish. With the public awareness of super-powered people rising and a good old-fashioned battle of good versus evil culminating in a thrilling finale that saw Stanton's plan unleashed and almost every character killed, things looked to take a dramatic turn for the third season, only for it to be cancelled before it could get there. As to what happened next, well, there surely would have been some huge ramifications in Season 3. Executive producer Zach Penn did, however, tweet a number of suggestions, many of them very tongue-in-cheek, but there might be some clues here for where the show went next. Number 7. True Calling Full Season 2 and Beyond Eliza Dushku should have really taken Joss Whedon up on the offer of a Faith the Vampire Slayer TV show after Buffy ended, a series that would have apparently seen her travelling the US with Spike as her companion. Instead, she chose to go with True Calling, a show about a woman working in a morgue who would be sent back in time by the animated corpses of various victims to change history. It sounds a little naff, but if you stuck with it, it started to get really interesting with the arrival of Jason Priestley as the anti-true Jack Harper, sent to undo her actions and mess with history for the side of evil. Season 2 only lasted 6 episodes, but there were clear signs of something great happening. New love interest Jensen would have died and True would have saved him without calling for help. By changing fate, Jensen would have been resurrected without his soul, and the consequences would have been rather chilling, his transformation into a serial killer being the most shocking, as a grander mythology was potentially laid out. True Calling might have been something rather special indeed. Number 6. Star Trek Enterprise Season 5 Despite a bland cast and terrible theme song, Star Trek Enterprise actually developed into a rather good show in its fourth and final series. It finally started to deliver on the premise of this prequel series, with multi-episode stories dealing with eugenics and the change in the Klingons, the spiritualization of the Vulcans, the beginning of the conflict with the Romulans, and the birth of what would become the Federation, and even an origin of sorts of the evil Mirror Universe. And then it went and screwed it all up, by delivering a terrible finale that became a bad holodeck episode of The Next Generation. Instead of of the focus on the birth of Star Trek as we know it. Had the show not been cancelled, Season 5 promised to continue the strong path of Season 4. The first Starbase would have been built as the founding of the Federation continued. Add in a refit of the Enterprise to make it closer to Kirk's original ship, and Star Trek Enterprise Season 5 would have had a lot to deliver. The questionable decision of doing an Origins of the Borg Queen aside, it could have been another very strong year in what became the last Star Trek TV series to grace our screens, at least until this year.
Number five, Dollhouse season three. Dollhouse fared better than Joss Whedon's previous TV project, Firefly, and barely so considering how badly Fox interfered with the initial run of episodes. But then, things started getting really good towards the end of season one with a glimpse of the apocalyptic future in Epitaph 1. Season two proved to be a huge improvement as characters like Sierra and Victor took center stage and Echo developed an intriguing personality of her own. While Whedon was given enough notice of the show's cancellation to wrap up the series in style, there were big plans for season 3 as series co-creator Tim Minier talks about after Dollhouse ended. The sudden reveal that Boyd was evil was condensed into the final run of episodes, but it would have had an even greater impact if it had taken place in year 3. But most significantly, Dollhouse would have become a lot more like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, as Echo embraced her multifaceted personality to become a superhero in her own right alongside Sierra and Victor as they sought to take down the evil Rossum Corporation. A far cry from its humble origins. Number 4. Crusade, full season 1 and beyond. Crusade, the spin-off to the epic Babylon 5, became a damp squib on which to end this TV universe. After the main show wrapped up the majority of its stories, Crusade began what was envisioned to be another five-year story, starting with the quarantining of the Earth after the Drac, Allies of the Shadows, poisoned it in the TV movie A Call to Arms. Sadly, it ended after 13 episodes and the crew of the Excalibur never found the cure. It had a good cast and an intriguing premise, but suffered from erratic scheduling that put episodes clearly out of order and bad marketing. Crusade died before it could really get going. The biggest tragedy was the great things that were just around the corner. The 14th episode would have featured the Excalibur encountering a hybrid shadow vessel, the 16th episode would have seen the very popular Babylon 5 villain Besta return, while the season 1 finale, The End of the Line, would reveal the truth about humanity's experimentation with shadow technology. Captain Gideon would have apparently been shot and killed trying to expose the truth, only to be resurrected with the Apocalypse box in Season 2, and Galen's real mission would have been revealed, using the Excalibur to hunt down and destroy shadow technology. It looks like what we didn't get could have been most entertaining indeed. Number 3. Angel Season 6 Whereas Buffy got a reprieve, its spin-off Angel didn't have so much luck. With the announcement happening quite late in production, Joss Whedon chose to stick to his original game plan for the rest of the season, even though it would end on a cliffhanger. Worse still, as a conclusion to the entire Buffyverse, we were left with more questions than answers. So what would have happened? The Season 6 comic offers a number of clues, though by all accounts, it would have played out very differently on screen. For a start, there would have been a bit of a reprieve for Fred, either with her personality reasserting herself, or Willow returning to help separate Fred from Illyria. Recurring werewolf and love interest for Angel Nina would have become a main character, and Oz would have apparently returned to appear for multiple episodes as sort of a guide to all things Wolfie. The first few episodes would have taken place in another dimension, so it certainly appears that epic would have been the word to describe Season 6. Number 2. Terminator – The Sarah Connor Chronicles – Season 3 Everything post-Terminator 2 is generally regarded as less successful with one exception – Terminator – The Sarah Connor Chronicles. With a great cast, it became a cult favourite that suffered the infamous Friday Night Culls that Fox became notorious for. As a result of its cancellation, the show ended on a cliffhanger as John Connor jumped forward in time to where nobody knew him. So what would have happened next? Well, apparently, a new major character would have been Danny Dyson, the son of Miles Dyson who created Skynet and sacrificed himself in the second film to stop Judgment Day. John, meanwhile, would have encountered a future version of his mother, suggesting that Sarah would have survived Judgment Day somehow. He would have also fallen for Allison, the human version of Terminator Cameron, creating a very personal conflict in this ongoing war. And number one, Firefly full season 1 and beyond. The cancellation of Joss Whedon's Firefly became one of the biggest TV travesties of all time. While it took a couple of episodes to really get going, it was must-see TV by the end of its 14 episode run and featured possibly the best character dynamic in what was essentially a season 1. At least the film Serenity offered a dramatic and heartbreaking conclusion to the tale, truncating some of the big ideas in place for a season 2. While the main theme of Season 2 would have been the truth about Miranda, the Reavers and the origins of River, other characters would have had some major development too. Inara would have revealed that she was dying, Jane would have left to captain his own ship for a while, and the mysteries of Shepard Book would have been revealed. The Blue Sun Corporation would have become a major presence in the show and deaths from the film would have apparently been very different. And apparently had the show gone to a Season 6, Mal would have encountered a much older spike in a bar, connecting Firefly to the rest of the Buffyverse. Consider your minds blown. And that's our list. What cancelled TV shows do you wish you knew more about the future of? Let us know in the comments section below. News, lists and articles await over on whatculture.com and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. I'm Rich from Whatculture and I'll see you soon. 
<laughs> oh, wasn't that something? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe below. And also, the people who made this lovely video, they're appearing right here. But if you're thinking to yourself, I want to see more content, Jules, then why not look above my head, as there probably is some. I don't know. I can't see it. Until next time.